Hey, I'm Rob. We're gonna check out this ascending valve horn and this descending horn. I've got some super cool horns this week. I have an ascending piston horn from the 19th century, and I have a descending piston horn from the 19th century, both of French origin. A quick valve overview. First valve, whole step. Second valve, half step. Third valve, minor third. When you depress the valves, that's when the air gets redirected into the tuning slides here, thus lengthening the instrument. On the ascending horn, first valve, whole step. Second valve, half step. Third valve, ascending a whole step. When the valve is open on the third valve, the air automatically goes through this length of tubing here. When you depress the valve, it cuts it off and the air goes straight through, eliminating this amount of tubing, thus shortening the instrument, hence the name ascending. These instruments were both very popular in France. As you can see, they both take terminal crooks. This horn, the descending instrument, takes an F crook and the ascending instrument takes a G crook. You're probably wondering, why does it take a G crook? This horn takes a G crook because the air automatically goes through this third valve here when you don't have it depressed. So that makes up the extra tubing that you would need to play in the key of F. Both instruments have their advantages and disadvantages. On the descending horn, you get the full chromatic spectrum. On the ascending horn, you're missing a few notes because of that whole step going up. One of the advantages that comes with the ascending horn is, well, the ascending part. You're shortening the tubing, so you can mess around with different alternate fingerings and things like that. It also helps pop out some high notes a bit easier and in tune as well. Let's see what they sound like. Some final thoughts. I think both of these instruments have great things to offer. Whichever one you play is mostly personal preference. If you're performing mid to late 19th century works, I think both these instruments would be great options, especially for French music. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. See you next week.